This is the V8 steak. Starting with a well-marbled whole strip loin. Make angled slices across the roast and remove all eight holes. Season with salt, then pepper, and time for jalapeno poppers. Slice off the top, core with a potato peeler, then fry up some bacon. We want it nice and crunchy for some texture. Cream cheese, the bacon, sharp cheddar, barbecue rub, and mix. Stuff the peppers, then time to stuff the meat. Avoid peppers that are too large. These average sized ones will work best. And we're left with a jalapeno popper stuffed roast, but we're gonna continue adding flavors with the compound butter. We'll need some butter, a whole bunch of garlic, some freshly chopped shallots, rosemary and thyme, and some of that bacon for added texture. Add it to the roast, give it a nice massage, and get it on the grill. We're smoking over applewood, low and slow. Low and slow, baby. This time on the potatoes, we're gonna really open them up for an exaggerated accordion shape. Slice once the short way, flip once diagonally, then slice one more time on the other diagonal. It takes patience, but check out that insane shape. Give it a quick fry until it's golden brown and crispy. The roast has reached 125 internal with some unbelievable texture and slice. Nice and rosy pink, extremely juicy, and topped with those beef butter drippings. Now I'll be honest, this takes a lot of work, but it's all worth it for that bite. Wow.